Welcome to day 78 of my 100 days of Firefly journey. Today we're gonna go back to something a little basic. We're gonna make a GSAP animation. Now this animation is pretty trending right now. It's that text animation on scroll. So basically the text reveal itself on scroll from a light opacity to a darker opacity or from a color to a different color. We've seen this animation trend on apple.com on a few Apple products pages and we see it a lot now on different websites. It's getting on demand from a lot of my clients. So I decided to make this tutorial on how to make this animation. Now this animation is pretty easy. We just need to use the split type library to split the text and then we use GSAP to animate these word by word or line by line. So without further ado, let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of our journey. Let's do this. All right, so today we're gonna have a look at how to make this animation specifically. So to make the text appear when we're scrolling and anything behind that is just, a, you know, a faded out text. So we're gonna use split type. Split type is the library that splits basically each of these words apart. And then we're gonna use GSAP to animate on scroll. Now, I'm gonna leave links to this in the description below, but what I've done is that I have compiled everything in a Notion page, which I'm also gonna leave in the description below. So, this is what you need to set up. You need your HTML to have a class of, let's say, split word. Of course, you can change this, but make sure if you change any of the classes or the names that you change them everywhere where it's called. So, we need to have a split word, split word class and this is where our text goes and then we need to add some uh, styles for the masking of this paragraph let's say over these words so uh, just copy the style now of course you can change more in this uh, for example the background color or the opacity and then you need to copy this uh, javascript file so let's do that so first we have an html that is split words. So this is the text I want to animate. So this is converting, covering this part. So we don't need to copy this. We need to copy the CSS though, because some of these elements are going to be appended. So to copy the CSS, go to your page settings and paste this inside the head tag. So this is word. Each word is going to be position relative. And then there's a line mask that's going to be position absolute and that that's going to cover all of it. So let's say, I want to increase this a bit so that it's covering everything. And then we're going to copy the JavaScript file. Now the JavaScript file is where all the magic happens. And we're going to just break it down quickly. So first we're calling the GSAP libraries and then we're going to calling the split type library. Uh, we're running a split word. So we're, we're running words, basically not lines, but we can also run lines if we want. Uh, we're calling, we're appending the line mask to cover the parts that are not showing, so that those parts that are faded out. So this is what the line mask is doing. So we're calling each word to to animate on this uh, GSAP animation, and then we're calling also to stagger between them, so that each word comes in one by one for a duration of one second. So let's try this out. So now that we pasted all the links let's publish this and now if you view this let's actually view the new site so if you view this you see that it's animating on scroll and animating out of scroll so just like we wanted if we animate here you know so you see that this is working as we wished it to work so I'm gonna leave a link to this uh, file in the description below so you can clone it and work around with it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Waffler journey. See you tomorrow.